crop that took five years to grow comes down in minutes, courtesy of this powerful machine. But in this harvest, the plants are taller than your usual agricultural product, 40 feet in some instances. A 10-acre stand of hybrid poplar trees planted in 2011 is cut and made into chips. Call it short rotation forestry. Uh, it's, it's important for us to have really a portfolio of crops uh, of this cellulosic biomass. Dr. Tim Riles is director of UT's Center for Renewable Carbon. The CRC's mission is to develop new processes that convert wood and crops into fuels, chemicals, and other materials. This poplar forest offers a glimpse of the future and a possibility for Tennessee landowners. Just one acre of these trees could produce six to seven tons per year of woody biomass products. You know, one of the appeals of uh, poplar and, and woody crops is maybe a, a flexibility aspect to it. So certainly they could be directed or redirected to, uh, to pulp and paper or other kinds of products um, with, with simple changes in, in spacing and other management approaches. This harvest is part of a five-year, $15 million research effort funded by the USDA. Numerous partners are involved with UT's Center for Renewable Carbon. Among them, Genera Energy with a facility in Von Orr. That's where the harvested biomass will go. Researchers collected yield data here, and now samples from the harvested poplars will be further analyzed in CRC and Genera labs to gauge the crop's usefulness for industry. Leaders of this project say there's a need to find multiple sources of biomass that we can grow in Tennessee and the region. You know, when we started, everything was focused very much on biofuels, and that's still the case today. But we've also seen a lot of growth in biopower and bioproducts and those types of things as well. And so understanding the supply chain of a, of a variety of crops, a uh, variety of sources of biomass is very important. The day is likely coming when Tennessee farmers and landowners will help grow our fuel, our power, our energy. The goal is to have a bio-based economy instead of one dependent on petroleum. And it's even better if we can grow that supply in just a few years. This is Charles Denny reporting.